Adding and subtracting with negative numbers, part two. So a slightly harder example would be 26 take away 255. So again, like last time, I'm going to write here answer. Now if you notice, if you ignore the symbols, this is positive 26, and this is negative 255. If you ignore the symbols, ignore the negative, ignore the positive, you'll see that this first number is smaller than this second number. Before, we've always had the bigger number first. Now when you're doing these sorts of problems, it's important to always rearrange the equation so that the bigger number is always first. Okay? It's actually very simple to do this. You just circle this number and make sure you get also the symbol that goes before it. So it could be positive or negative, you get that symbol as well. You circle the second number with its symbol and you put it at the front. So that's negative 255. That's going to go to the front now. And then you put your positive 26 second. Remember, if there's no symbol, you assume it means positive. So we're going to put a plus 26 here. So this gives us our answer. 26 take away 255 is exactly the same question as negative 255 plus 26. It will give you the same answer. Okay? So now we're at the same point as we were with the first video. We're now going to do negative 255 plus 26. And hopefully you remember from last time, you always want this first number to be positive. So I'm going to change the symbol here from negative to positive. That'll be 255. And if we change the symbol of 1, term in the equation, you have to change the symbol of the other ones as well. So this goes from positive to negative. And again, remember, if there's no symbol, we assume it's positive. So this goes from positive to negative. So now we have the much easier question of 255 minus 26, which we can do over here. Can't do 5 minus 6, so you go next door, borrow 1. 15 minus 6 is 9. 4 minus 2 is 2. And 2 minus nothing is 2. So that is 229. 255 minus 26 gives us 229. So I can write that below. That equals that. Okay, so 229 equals our negative answer. But remember, we don't actually want our negative answer, we want our positive answer. So we're going to go from a negative to a positive. And if we change the symbol of one part of the equation, we have to change the symbols of all the parts. So this goes from positive to negative. The final answer is minus 229, and that's it.